Testing, testing, one, two, three. You do local because that's where you can actually make change. The chance that you're gonna change the world, um, however you wanna measure that, is relatively low. At a local level, it's much easier to feed people. It's much easier to ask people what they need. It's much easier to provide information for people, find it, and deliver it to them. I talk about local news and information through ecological terms because I do see all of the stakeholder groups as interconnected and reliant on one another. I think a lot of us have climate change on our minds, so I think about the metaphor of the exploitation of the Earth's resources and the resulting destruction and destabilization that has occurred. And I think that that is a trend throughout our economy, including in media, including in news and information. We see that with sort of the um, monocropping of major platforms. We see that with the exploitation of communities for stories. looking at news deserts, we're looking at places that have just been depleted of resources. We know we have to begin restoring the ecosystem so that we can begin to grow towards those really more meaningful changes. But before you can plant a forest, you need to start by planting grasses. Before you can plant the grasses, you have to make sure the soil has nutrients. So like, you have to take this step-by-step -step approach. It's about aerating that soil. We don't need convince 50% of people to come along with us. We already have the plurality of folks. We need another 10, we need another 20. And we can go so far if we just had a baseline access to local news and information that enabled the sort of civic participation we all wish we had in our communities. But we haven't realized that we actually just need to build towards.